All right, well, when this professor you're about to see isn't lecturing at UTC, you can probably find her taking care of the little animals. John Martin tracked her down for three in your town. You're so cool. So we're on Signal Mountain at my facility for wildlife rehabilitation. Basically, I take in orphaned and injured squirrels and rabbits and then rehab them. And when they're ready to go, I let them loose on the property. When Kate Kinnear isn't lecturing at UTC, you can probably find her on her 11 acre property taking care of the little critters that need a little love. Lots of people think that there's plenty of squirrels and rabbits, and they are the more prolific mammals that we have around here, but overall wildlife numbers are going down, just overall, especially the mammals and the birds. Their, whole, their overall numbers are going down. So if I can help a squirrel or a rabbit, because that's what I'm set up for, that's where my expertise is, then that's the right thing to do because it means everything to that one individual animal. You can see the squirrels leaping, bounding, eating and sleeping in this sanctuary. Some are free range, some working up their health and wellness to be released once again. It's a beautiful and large piece of property, but Kate hopes to expand it even further, not just for the squirrels and rabbits, but for all creatures, great and small. I've heard coyotes back there, there's deer, there's skunks, you name it, and it's living back there because there's just not many places where they can stay and be safe and have water and not get into some sort of trouble with humans. You'll no doubt crack a smile or two watching these frenzied things, but you'll also begin to understand that what Kate is doing is more than just rehabilitation. She is giving love and compassion to a created creature that understands companionship and feelings. And because of that, Kate says she feels like she's getting something in return. Any living thing deserves compassion. Wildlife is sort of not a recipient of compassion very often. There's a cultural idea that they don't have feelings, that they don't have thoughts. Um, and from being with them all the time, like literally 24 seven sometimes, they definitely do have thoughts and they definitely do know what's going on. So just showing them a little compassion, a little respect takes nothing away from us. It really adds, it makes like a space for more good things to come into our life. It brings us a bigger awareness. And so I always encourage compassion because you really are like opening a channel for more good things and more awareness. Great story from John Martin. Our thanks to her for that good work.